Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I would like to start off by saying a huge thank you to each and every one of you who's been watching my videos, who's been commenting, who's been liking them. It means the world to me and it makes me so happy and it makes me want to continue my journey. It makes me want to you know, dance and be happy all the time. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, this is the look we are gonna be doing today. It's not my typical look and it's something very different from what I normally do, but I do feel that every girl wants to have a red lip from time to time just for fun or, you know, just to brighten your mood. This is why I wanted to create something fresh, something modern with a red lip, but very, 2019 so sort to say so if you are interested if you do have some free time on your hands please keep on watching i'll start with applying a little bit of foundation because i did manage to get some tan and i need to even out the whole situation that is happening um i am using my trusty d war backstage foundation in the color 2w i will mostly apply it in the center of my face just to cancel out this redness that I have. I don't want to have the full-on coverage, but I do want to have my face um, more even, so to say. Uh, another thing you could do, you could use not a foundation, but a tinted moisturizer. That would work really, really well. Why I chose to use foundation, because I am going to be doing something totally different that I never, ever, ever do, but the sake, for the sake of the video, I decided to um, to do a red lip. I never wear color, never. I never wear um, dark lipsticks, lip glosses. Um, I go with nudes, but I never do a red lip. I do have a favorite color. I know that it looks good on me, but it's just, I'm not big on lipstick, I don't know why. I think, it's not because I don't, you know with red lipstick, you have to know how to wear it. Like you have to be aware of uh, having a red lipstick on your mouth and the way you talk, the way you hug and kiss someone, the way you eat. Like You have to keep in mind that you have your lipstick on. And um, I'm not good at that. So maybe that's one of the reasons. Or maybe just because, you know, I have a pretty large mouth. I have like a, have lips almost all over my face. So it's a, it's a weird thing for me, but every girl loves to have a red lip even though not all of us can actually pull it off but we do love the idea of a red lip and uh, conquering the world so this is pretty much what i'm gonna do i just neutralize the redness that i have and um, i think this is it a little bit of concealer on my eyes and nothing else on my face. I'm gonna leave it as is. Uh, it's gonna be super simple, it's gonna be super quick. Most important thing with the red lip, you have to cancel out all the redness that you have because red tends to bring it out more. So you neutralize whatever you don't like. Uh, the eye is gonna be pretty simple. So uh, we're definitely gonna tight line a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna use Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the color Roach. It's a very warm brown. It is complementary to my uh, grayish eyes. It's gonna make them more blue. And uh, we're not gonna do a smoky eye or anything fancy because I kind of feel like the only way for me to pull off the red lip is to have a minimum makeup and kind of a bare eye. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna apply a little bit of pencil in between our lashes just to tight line like so. I decided to use liquid eyeshadows from uh, Armani. This is the color. They're actually called eye tints in the color 19. It's going to be super easy. So what I'm going to do is just apply it all over my eyelid. Let me just grab a mirror. Okay, I'll just apply it all over my eyelid. It looks super dark when you apply it, but it's actually a really nice color. And just with a synthetic brush, I'm just going to blend it doesn't look that crazy anymore see it just gives a little bit up of depth color and shape that's all we want to do actually we are not doing anything major we're not changing the shape of the eye we're just you know playing a little bit with shadows don't forget the bottom same thing for my other eye and just blend again. So we are blending the color itself and we are giving a little bit of shape to our eye. 
bottom. I like to use liquid eyeshadows. Not a lot of people like it and they kind of feel that it's weird. But I think they're su super comfortable to wear, very easy to work with. And definitely a cool product to have. Guys, this is it for the eyes. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. We just need a little bit of uh, extra color. That's it. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'm going to apply mascara. This is it. I am going to use my MAC mascara. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I did fill in my eyebrows with Kat Von D pencil. I don't normally show it on camera, just I kind of feel like it's pretty boring and there's lots of tutorials out there how to fill in your eyebrows. But if you are curious how I do it and uh, if you want me to do it on camera, let me know and I'll uh, definitely record it. And the other eye. Don't forget the bottom lashes. I'm actually a big fan of applying mascara to my bottom lashes. I actually really like it. I think it makes your eye more open. Mm -hmm. We're done with our lashes. I do want to add a little bit of concealer. I'm going to apply a little bit of my YSL uh, concealer. The color is number two. Just a little bit to cover my dark circles and um, any imperfections that my foundation didn't do a good job covering. Very, very lightly. I'm just gonna blend it out. Just dab it, blend it, so everything will be seamless. You know, never neglect this little corner here. Here on my mouth a little bit with whatever is left on the brush. Let's set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier uh, translucent loose setting powder just to make sure everything's in place. And it is hot and humid here, so I definitely need more powder. But I'm not gonna powder the rest of my face because I, because I haven't decided what I'm gonna use for my blush. And I'm not sure it's gonna be a powder. So let's just powder my under eyes first and then we'll see what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do with um, the rest of our face. You know what? I think I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter just to give my face this vibe of a hot summer day. Uh, I'll be using my Becca Opal Shimmer Skin Perfector and I'm gonna use it on top of my cheekbones. Bridge of my nose. Keep it well. A little bit more. And I always like to put something inside my, um, inside the corner of my eye. Whenever the makeup is so light, it just, you know, opens up your eyes so much more. Just inside this little corner here. For the lips, I'm using MAC Ruby Woo. I think this is the best red color out there. It's uh, it's very cool toned. It makes your teeth look whiter and it looks gorgeous on everybody. So if you are looking for a good classic red that is gonna be that's gonna look modern, fresh, and it's definitely gonna good look good on you. So Ruby Woo is the color to to go for. I will be using a pencil also, just you know, to, to get this perfect shape that I want. And the pencil for this look will be Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in the color 8C. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna outline my lips first, make this perfect shape that I want, and then we're gonna fill it in with um, with the Ruby Woo. And don't get scared because, you know, whenever you're applying a darker darker pencil and you're just creating the shape and you're not filling in, it just looks off and weird and you don't want to, you know, get rid of it right away. Try to, just try to think of a perfect shape that you want for your pout. Outline it, look at it, and then fill it in and add a little bit more if you want to. But don't be scared of a uh, weird situation going on here. 
Okay, I'm going to line my bottom. And if you do want to overline a little bit to get this perfect shape, you know, to make sure that your uh, lips are even, it's the perfect time to do it. You just, you know, make sure everything is even the way you want it because you know, darker lipsticks and red lipsticks, they are not that forgiving. So make sure everything is in place. Apply your lipstick afterwards and then, you know, with a brush you can uh, correct whatever you need to. If we're gonna mess up a little bit, we're gonna get a little bit of concealer with a brush and you know fix it or make our corner sharper. So that's why we haven't powdered. And honestly, this look would look really great with a dark, like wine colored lip as well. It would be very fresh and modern, wearing white t-shirt, you know, hair pulled up. That would be amazing. Okay, it might be good for now. If you do have drier lips, uh, make sure to prep them with a moisturizer or a mask or something just to make them smooth and plump. So, um, so the product that you're going to be applying would go easier, especially with the, all these matte formulas. They are pretty drying, so I would recommend um, to definitely moisturize your lips beforehand. I'm going to use it straight from the bullet, and then I'll gonna, I'm going to fix it with, uh, with my brush. Oh yeah, and what I did, I applied a little bit of this lipstick on my brush and I'm just, you know, perfecting the shape. See the difference? And uh, my lips are very... My lips are very different, so they're not symmetrical. So I, whenever I'm applying a dark lipstick, which never happens, this is this is why it never happens. I actually have to take my time to make sure they're even. So there's a lot of overlining going on. I'll add a little bit more. And let's work on our bottom lip. So as you can tell, it is a very time-consuming process, but it's so worth it. Oh, I look like a clown. Sometimes it help. Oh, my teeth look white. Sometimes it helps to look at yourself from a different angle just to see the perspective of where the slip is actually going. So um, I look straight into the mirror whenever I'm applying it and then I move forward. I have another mirror over here. So I'm just gonna look here for a little bit. I think it's very fresh and modern to have almost a bare eye with this very bold lip. Because this is just so much. You know, whenever you're doing it, like you, at some point you just have to stop, but it's so, it's so hard because you see all the imperfections. You, I need to add a little bit here or, you know, a little bit less, more product, less product, lipstick, gloss. Maybe I should wipe it off. It's one of those mixed emotions for me. I think I wore red, red lipstick only once in my life. I applied it many times, but I've actually worn it out once. And I remember feeling so uncomfortable. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the lip. I think at this point I should stop because it's gonna, it's never gonna end. 
what I want to do next. I do want to add a little bit of contour, just a tiny little bit. It's not going to be even make it contouring. It's going to be more of a little, a little bit of a bronze. What I'm going to do, I'm going to powder my face just to make sure that everything is uh, in place. I'm going to use a smaller brush because I, to keep this look modern, you ha you cannot have a powder like super powdered face. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of powder on my T-zone my forehead a little bit on my nose right here and a little bit of contouring just a little bit by the way, this is um, my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. So, just a little bit. Just to bring out the warmth and color and to give the whole look more of a beachy summery vibe. A little bit on, on my nose. Underneath my chin. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I don't wanna use tons of products, I'm gonna be using the same lipstick. Don't worry, it's gonna look a little bit crazy. I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm just gonna dab it a little bit. I'm gonna pop it on my cheeks. Okay, just a tiny bit. We don't want much color, but we do want to tie everything together. The cool trick, whenever you apply blush and you feel like you've applied a little bit too much, keep in mind that you can fix it always with your foundation brush because you don't want it to be that much, that noticeable and that vivid. Or if you want to just blend it, you know, blend, it th blend the edges a little bit, make sure to have your foundation brush. Don't add more product with whatever is here, whatever is left. Go over it a little bit, edges. Just to make sure that we are in the same color range. My friends, this is it. Nothing crazy, super easy, definitely something to try. This is it, this is the finished look. I hope you liked it, I hope this has been helpful. I hope you are gonna give it a go, you are gonna challenge your inner goddess and wear red lipstick. Um, let me know how it turned out and until next time, I will see you guys very soon, bye.